welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is then titled as fraud app detection using sentiment analysis so we have developed this project using lstm and for the web framework we have used flask now let us see the execution of the project so first let me attach the database in the mysql so this is this database consists of the user registration part and if the user gives any commands it will be stored in it so first go to mysql administrator go to restore option select open backup file now go to the project folder and select the database and click start restore so now the database is restored now let me go to the command prompt and go to the project folder location and type python app.py and enter and kindly wait and now you can copy this url Go. now paste this url and now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title fraud app detection using sentiment analysis and now you can see the option of admin login so first let me go to the admin login so this consists of a static login page with the default username password as admin and admin and click login and once the login is successful you can see the details of the users who have already registered here so currently there is one user who has registered here so now let me log out from this part and now first let us train the system with the data set so go to the upload option so first in the upload option let us click browse go to the project folder and select the data set upload and then click upload now kindly wait till the data set has been uploaded and once the data set is uploaded you can preview the data set and here you can see the data set so which consists of the user id review id user name user image content score thumbs up count review created version add reply content replied at sorted order and these details and you can scroll down till the end of the page to see the content complete data set so here you can see the data set consists of records around 6975 so let me open and show you in the excel file also csv file also so this is the data set and that we have previewed in the browser this is the data set and coming back to the browser now let us click click to train or test and kindly wait till the training is completed and now you can see the message the training is finished and click ok and after the training is finished it will, it will be law navigating to the login part so once uh, if uh, you have the login username password you can enter it in case if you're not having you can go to the registration part let me register with the username jp with the email id with the password and the age and then click submit and once it has been registered 
sorry that is a validation so the password should contain at least one number one lower case character one upper case one special symbol and must be between 6 to 10 characters long so i have given only two characters so it has not been registered so let me again register with the validation which they are given and then click submit so now you can see the message you have successfully registered please proceed to login so it means the registration is done and click ok now let me log in in the login page by entering the username and password which i have created during the registration part and then click login button and once the login is successful it will be navigated to the detection part where the fraud app detection is criminal analysis is made so here you can see enter your review details where you can see the drop down where you can select the app names so these app names or the apps that have been trained up with with the data set that we have uploaded the system so you can see the app names like forest app habit now app tick tick task app any do to do list app task android artful agenda pp Genex app excel planner so these are the apps that are available in the data set that we have trained up so you can just select any of the app for example let me select forest app and let me enter my review as this app is helpful and good one so let me enter uh, the review for this as and then click submit and once the review is been added you can see the message that your review has been posted successfully and you can see all the reviews of the users also with the user id age review and the details of the things that we have posted with and here you can see the user id too that we have made it right now the, the this app is your helpful and good one and now let me log out from this user part let me go to the admin login so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click login and once the login is successful now it will be navigated to the register detail where you can see the user details who are available now currently there are only two users and you can see the user id one two and the username and the email id and the age of it so now you can see the next details are next to the register details is like review details once if you click this review details part here you can see the sentiment analysis detection part so in the user part the i have just entered i have selected the app name and entered the review details and here you can see the predicted result of it so here you can see the review that we have made for the app name for a staff and here you can see the review that i have entered is this app is helpful and good one and here you can see the predicted result is positive so now let me log out from this part let me again go to the login part and let me enter the username and password and show you with the other sentiment analysis cases also so now let me select some other app say example this one so this app is an average one needs more improvement in it so let me enter this review and then click submit and now you can see this review has been added now let me again go to the feedback details let me select some other app say example app explainer to my experience it's not a good one below and below level performance let me enter this as the my command and then click submit so i have added two more 
other than this this app is an average one and up to my experience these are the two let me show you the signal analysis part so i am adding these commands to show you the the other two classes that is i have see, i have shown you the positive one let me show you for the negative and the neutral for it so that that's what the reason i'm added this one and also you can add the feedback that we have trained up with also for example let me select the habit now app so now go to the data set part where you can just select any of the uh, content that the we have trained up with for example let me enter this one uninstalled as soon as possible started the gettings in add notification let me enter this one and click submit and show you how it works also and then let me show you with some other parts also so let me enter this one for selects let me go to the feedback part so let me select to ppg next let me enter this and then click submit so now i have added uh, this four more other than this one two three four let me check the predicted result of this let me log out from this user part let me go to the admin part so let's enter the default username and password and then click login and go to the review details part where you can see the predicted results of those so first uh, first one we have already seen this one positive and next you can see tick tick task app so this one you can see this is an average one needs more improvement so here it is predicted as neutral part and the other app planner app you can see up to my experience it is not good one below low level profile you can see it is predicted as negative one and the other one is like you can see this uh, which we have copied from the data set uh, again you can see it is predicted as negative one and here you can see this is also predicted as a negative one so now i have shown you with the all the three classes of positive negative and neutral you can also check with the other parts by entering the details and next i'll navigate to the next part that is chart part in the chart we have classified as three parts that is neutral a negative and positive so let me click the positive chart so in the positive chart you can see which are all the apps which have positive and this is a dynamic one so whenever there is a positive you can see it is been it will be increased according to the reviews that the user enters so it is a dynamic one this is not a static one so uh, negative part let me show you negative chart so here you can see the chart with the negative which are all has the negative reviews has been done over here it has been shown you can enter as much as reviews and you can show the chart increasing and in the chart let me go to the neutral part and you can see the neutral so here you can see this app has two neutral reviews and so it has been updated other does not has any neutral reviews and so it has not been updated here and the final is the detection part so here you can see the fraud of detection so here you can see the uh, final re total review counts of each and the review percentage and you can see the overall prediction result of it so we have seen that there may be many users now i have shown you only one user there may be many users and based on the overall performance it will be predicted and showing the results of it so let me select this app forest app and then click submit so here you can see there is only one review so it is showing the total review is one and what how much positive review is one neutral is zero or negative is zero and you can see the review percentage total review percentage is 100 percentage and the overall prediction you can see this app is not fraud based on the sentiment analysis made okay and now let me go to the other app and show you how it performs and here you can see uh, let me select app explainer and click submit and for this you can see the total count is one and here you can see positive count is zero and neutral count is zero and negative is one so here you can see review percentage for the negative is hundred percent so the app may be fraud based on the user analysis mate okay and then let me select this tick tick task and now here you can see the total count is two and zero positive and zero negative and neutral is two 
So here you can see the percentage neutral is zero. This app is not for distance and analysis because it is not on the negative part. So it says that this is not a fraud one based on the analysis made of it. So in such way you can just select the apps and you can check it and you can from different user user logins you can just enter various. So here you can see this app is has two review counts one is positive and other is a negative the new zero is the neutral there is no any neutral count of it so you here you can see maybe fraud or not so you can see the positive review percentage is 50 and negative is 50 so here you can see no review or made or, or fraud so it may be fraud or not okay So let me select some other app and show you in case if there is no review it will be showing that there is no review that is zero review count so it may be there is no review or maybe fraud or not so i have shown you all the possibilities of this fraud app detection part and let me log out and this is all about the project fraud app detection using silver analysis and thank you for watching